Who's that Pokemon? It's, it's me. Before we begin, please be sure to check out pdcdostore.com to grab yourself some codes to be able to build this very deck. Of course, use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout and enjoy the video. How are you doing today, baby? Yes, it is me for the win to CG. Now you see I'm all dressed up for the occasion. There isn't one. There was supposed to be. I was supposed to wear this on Halloween, but obviously given the circumstances, I didn't manage to actually get that video out. But I thought I wanted to use it in a video at least and make something a little bit interesting. So we're coming in this video with a swagger, baby. So what are we playing today? Today, we're going to be looking at Brixen Solo. We're not going to throw this in a Zorak deck. We're going to try and make it all about Brixen and the new Delphox because Delphox has exactly the same attack as Brixen, but for one colorless, less energy. Flare Parade, 60 damage for each Sabrina in your discard pile. But what's really cool is Delphox has another attack as well. Energy Crush for two colorless energy, 50 damage for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon, which of course is perfect for Arceus matchups. I think it's really, really cool to have a stage two that just has the same attack as the stage one with it being a good attack, it honestly seems like a great way to implement stage twos into the format where you like you have stage ones with really decent attacks or really strong attacks and you can evolve to the stage two keeping that attack plus something extra. That sounds like a really cool way to use stage twos to make them a little bit more viable in my opinion. So seeing it happen here is really cool. So of course the aim of the deck is to get all the Serenas in the discard pile. May it be for just using them to draw cards or to gust or to just discard them with the Sinchino engine that we have in the deck here with the make do being able to discard one card and draw or two. We also have a cheeky Alakazam in here. Now, this is here for a very particular reason. Now, if we have four Serena in a discard pile, Flare Parade does 240 damage. If we go ahead and throw a Choice Belt, that's 270, which is just missing one it KOs on a lot of things. So if we were able to get damage counters down in the early game, before we start hitting that number, we could throw an Alakazam down and move the damage counters to the ones that we just whiffed the KO from, being able to take some cheeky KOs before you even attack. So far, it's a pretty decent fit for the deck, so we're going to throw that in there. But other than that, it's pretty much a bot standard single prize Mincino Sinchino Bino list that you can see here. We do have a lot of money for disruption and stuff like that. Really good for the Lost Box decks and stuff. Uh, and of course, path to the peak for the Lugia. We want to make sure we can shut them down in the early turns if we can. But that said, again, we are single prize. So we're just here trying to take those big knockouts for single prizes and take the dubs, baby. So without further ado, let's get moving. Yeah. We are playing Zorak. So if we meet our condition here today, we can go ahead and take one hit KOs on the Zorak, which is really, really awesome, and um, which is a great price trade for us. But that's a big if. We do still need to get the ball rolling. So I'm going to attach a turbo here, and we're going to call for family. That's for sure. And I think, do I? I the Zorak can't get the KO next turn because they've got nothing, right? So maybe I just hold the hand and try and play everything else afterwards. I would like to get another Fennekin down, but because they're not taking a KO, I think we're fine. So let's just call for family and get, so I get two Mencinos. Do I really lean into it? I think I do. I think I lean heavily into this right now. I think that's the way to go. Next turn, I can get another Fennekin if I want to. I think we're fine. But I just want to get a really nice, comfortable board state. So when we see the Serenas, we can get them in the Discord Pile as quickly as possible. So then at that point, we can get to our 270. Now, there's other cards you can play in the deck. Oh, see, now I'm glad. <laughs> now I'm glad I committed because we've just been Marnied. Um... I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, you could play things like Poke Gear in here as well, just to really get the Serenas. But I think it's fine enough, if I'm honest with you. Right, I'm glad. I am really glad. Let's go ahead and Sincino. I'm going to attach the Choice Belt and the, the, old, the old Twinny Winnie there. And then we're going to Serena. Bro, they haven't even bet to Zorak. What is going on? What's going on there, mate? What's happening? Huh? Seems a bit mental, if you ask me. Let's make do first before we Ultra Ball because I don't want to discard Marnie. We don't want that boy going. Yeah, you don't know how you go around there. I was going to say we don't want that boy going, but you're a girl. Silly me. So, I don't need to get another. How much damage are we doing right now? We're doing just straight 60. Uh, not enough to KO this whole Lucha, but enough to put damage down, which we, as, as we've established, is great for Alexam. So, we're going to Flare Parade and get that bad boy on there. And then next turn, we start digging a bit more. I just didn't want to discard the Choice Belt or the Delphox or the Marnie. I wanted to keep all of them. The Choice Belt's critical because that gets us to that 270 mark, with Twin, that is. Um, so the only thing I am comfortable discarding with the Ultra Ball was that VIP pass. And then I thought, well, if I evolve into a... Discard everything now to evolve into a Sinchino, then it's pointless because I'm going to have to use it, use it. Well, I don't have to, but if I'm not going to use it, then I can wait. But yeah, it might backfire here. Hopefully not. I'm getting Marnie every single turn right now. 
but we should be all right. Should be good. Again, these couple extra turns here are doing us solid. Doing us very solid. Brother. <laughs> Brother. Give me the Serenas, bro. I want the Serenas. Right, they're going to obviously retreat. Oh, what's really good, actually? Oh, my God. I didn't even think about this. Bro, <laughs> we have our own technical damage pump. So we could actually reduce their damage output with the Alakazam by moving two damage counters elsewhere, which is so strange. It's not necessary. But it actually gets us more towards the 1 KO range. I didn't even realize that, bro. This 60 damage didn't even matter. Um, because we could just move damage with our own Alakazam. <laughs> That's a bit wild, bro. I can't lie. That's a bit mad. All right, let's start discarding. I'm going to get rid of the Mincino first. I think that's the way we got to go. Path to the peak. That's what I'm talking about. Risky move here, getting rid of the air balloon. She's a bit risque. But here we are. I'm going to get another Fennekin down. We could take our time. We could take our time. There's no serious rush here. Let's go do that. Path to the peak. Now, I know the path to the peak takes away my, my own Alakazam, but that's fine. Um, right, so we're still only hitting 60, well, 90, actually, to one of these Aurochs. Um So, I think we're not we're, we're not getting enough to KO the Bidoof, unfortunately, yet. But I want to get some damage down. Less Flare Parade. There we go. So, we'll just do that, get 90 damage down, that's fine. Um, and if we obviously do go to a point of wanting KOing it, then again, if we get that Alakazam. So, we want to save that final bench spot for Alakazam. Because it seems to actually matter a lot. In this matchup, so I, I will take it any day of the week. Look at me, I've had my bloody YouTube analytics open the whole time. <laughs> you couldn't see it, but it was there. <laughs> There's a problem with YouTube, man. The revenue went went away for like, like November 3rd to 7th or something like that. It just vanished. Everyone's getting it. So if you make YouTube videos and you're watching this, check it because it might be a thing. Um, and then I had this other thing where I got like, the last video, Chestnut, got zero views for like three hours. <laughs> like, I, I'm not even, I woke up the next morning and I was like, bro, it's on zero views. What's going on? And then, obviously, there was, like, interaction and stuff. And that you guys saw the video, obviously. But I was like, what? What's going on here? Spoke to them, and then they told me that the video was doing pretty well. And they said popular videos. Popular is their term. Um, you have to get verified for legitimate views to make sure I'm not botting. And I was like, what? And the funny thing is, the video's not doing as good as other ones. Like, my Urshifu video has, at that time, was doing, was doing almost double the performance of what Chestnut was doing. So I was like... That's a weird one, brother. But okay. <laughs> anyway, they've gone and bounced the path. We need to actually... Ugh, we need to get some cards here, bro, because we need another Fennec in down. We have to get another Fenny. Ask and you shall receive, except I also want the Alakazam. <laughs> oh, that's tricky. Oh, you have to do that to me. We're fine. I'm going to get rid of a break soon. We have two rescue carriers in the deck. We should... Be okay. Oh, well, there you go. I should have got rid of the level ball. Oh, well, I'm going to get rid of it now. There we go. Let's get rid of you. Let's just dig, dig, dig. And I'm going to bench the Alakazam as well, I think. There's the other rescue carrier. That's good news. I don't know how much this Alakazam is going to matter because we still only have the one Serena. So we're only doing 90 again. But we could move damage, two damage counters to Holucha maybe and get to a point where we could just KO that naturally. Um, that could be cool. I mean, I don't see why not. Uh, the maths doesn't matter elsewhere, so I'm just going to move it to the Holucha and we can just eventually KO it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And I might save the choice belt, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not use the choice belt here and just do a straight 60 because, look, I want to get the choice belt out when, we, when you know, we're going to have a couple of Zoroks coming up here and there. But what would be really cool is if we can just move Alakazam and take two single prizes and then we only have to KO two Zoroks. That's going to be cool. They're probably going to get rid of Alakazam, right? They're a bit scared of it. Yeah, they're scared of it. They're like, bro, no. <laughs> do not do that to me. But, bro, you're, you're kind of just letting me use my break sins a bit more. I can get Delphox out if I need to. I don't think it's necessary, but, you know. Yes, yeah, see this. <laughs> they're like, no. Bro, it's just damage counter, counter, and counter, and countering, right? <laughs> you place damage counters. I'm going to counter that by moving them. You're going to counter that by playing damage pumps. So you can counter the damage counters that's been placed that I'm trying to counter, so you counter that. Bro, we're playing chess. <laughs> right. Twin. Twin energy. We're getting good cards. We don't want to discard. Okay. We have to play Rescue Carrier, right? We need that security. We do need that security. Uh, maybe I just discard another Breaks in. 
Um, that might be the play. It's weird, but we still have one more rescue carrier to work with. They only need to take four prizes, so... Speak of the devil. Um, discard the turbo, I think. That's the way to go. And we get... Okay, we'll discard you. I could ultra ball here, but I don't, again, these are quite valuable resources in hand that I don't want to get rid of right now. I'm not comfortable with it, bro. Oh, we got the fox! Yeah, fox, eh. It doesn't matter that we got the fox. Um, Rare candy's gone, so I could just evolve. I don't think it matters. I could discard you as well. Oh. No, we'll evolve to the fox. We will go ahead and do that and that. I attach a choice belt. I'm so stupid. That's going to come back to backfire me, isn't it? I, I, yeah, that's going to come back to hit me. I'm going to get one Serena, discard it, and have two damage counters away from KKK. Because <laughs> I am an idiot. <laughs> Your boy is stupid. Okay. I'm going to recover now. Because this is intended for this purpose. Anyway, these two and then money them to the bottom of the deck. So at least we have them in deck. Um, and that's something to work with, I guess. That's fine. And we get... There's a Serena, which we could have discarded. No! Oh, 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 oh. oh, I feel so stupid! We could have got a KO. Oh, it, do you know what? The game's the game. Let's get rid of you two. Um, where's... I don't have escape rope in the deck. I really would like one. So we can get Alakazam back, but I guess we're just going to have to do without. Which is okay. I'm just a bit annoyed that I'm with the KO here. A bit annoyed. Just a tad. You know, just a bit. Oh, no. <laughs> I haven't! Yeah, baby! This is why Delphox comes in. Energy crush into the bin. Go on, baby. That's what I like to see. I thought, I thought, I thought, I really thought. I really thought. He thought. <laughs> I really thought I whiffed it there. But no, the energy crush. Bro, that's what I like. That's what I like to see. Energy crush coming in clutch. And this is why I like the Delphox, man. That powerful attack is really good. You can't sit there and deny it. It's strong. Good against Lugia. Good against Arceus. Could even be good against Palkia. I burped. I heard you. I know. You heard me. So it can be good against Palkia, by the way. It's, it's not ideal against Palkia, but it's it's there. The Palkia matchup, they're hitting you for weakness anyway, so. Um, right, so that's another one there. We could get to the point of one at KO now. We could get there. We just need those other two Serena in the discard pile. So as long as we get that, we're looking pretty solid, mate. So I'm going to keep discarding. Hopefully we find something to work with. I want to get a Serena to just play. Actually, do you know what might be a good idea? I kind of regret doing that. Actually, no, because I've got, I've got those two to work with. I might Marnie and hopefully hit Serenas and then just Sincino, Sincino them away. No, unfortunately not. We can do another Energy Crush for what? 2 230? Which is just shy. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of this make do no serena unfortunately i'm gonna ultra ball sorry get rid of the ultra ball another one no the serena why are you hiding from me right so it's 5 10 15 20 uh 23 so we're not getting the ko with the del fox is it worth playing no because there may be a time where we do get it so i don't want to waste it now right that's the that's the that's the idea so I think we're just going to go for Fire Parade here, which is only doing 150, but it's fine. That's okay. We just have to get really lucky to a point where if they get enough energy and play, we can hopefully KO the Zorak and then follow up with a KO. But it's going to be difficult. It is going to be tough. But we just need that Serena, bro. They've got to take two prizes after this as well. You've got to bear that in mind. So it's, it's getting down to the wire. It is getting down to the wire. Uh, you can also just KO my Breaksons, right? Quite comfortably, you can, yeah. You can. So they could just retreat and go into Gengar, which actually isn't a bad play. In fact, that's probably the best play, right? Just retreat to get. Bro, do you not see the attack I have with Del Fox? Why are you attaching energy so comfortably? Hmm? I think because they're going to go to Gengar, right? De bro, go to Gengar. You KO me and I have to come and gust you. What are you doing, De? What are you doing, mate? You silly bugger. Right. There's a Serena. I kind of want to use it. Ah, oh, what? We have two cards in deck? What? Oh, don't you dare tell me that. Oh my God, we've prized a Serena. Okay. It's trouble right now. <laughs> we're in trouble. We're, we're, we're just in trouble. Bugger. Which means I can't even see. <laughs> All right, here's the dream. Okay. 
Here is the dream. We KO with Flare Punch. Okay. Take it out. And then they, in a very silly way, they bench another. Yeah, there it is. They bench another Zorok. V. In which case, we just get rid of two Serenas. We Gust and KO for game. That's the only thing I can hope right now. Or we can just, you know, KO, KO. But I don't think we have enough resources right now, unfortunately, to even do that. So even though Gengar is coming in here with a KO, they haven't benched a V. So if we evolve to Delphox, Gengar won't KO us. Which means I think we may have just won. Oh. Bro, thank you. We got Amani on the top deck final. The final top deck was Amani. I am going to get rid of one and then just Marnie. Right? By the way, no more recovery left. But Marnie is going to keep us alive, baby. <laughs> I was so scared. I was like, oh, two gods. No, behave. We got two now, but it's okay. It's better. Better than nothing. Uh, and then we just go for our Flare Parade again, which is hitting more than enough. Um, we don't even need to Energy Crush, which is funny enough, a good thing. And we have the boss. So if they try and go ahead and retreat into Zorak for some reason, even though we should be able to dig to get the KO for that anyway. Um, I, I think we've won by just the, literally the skin on our teeth, mate. That was very, very close. <laughs> but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in for it. I'm liking, I'm liking Del Fox proving its worth as well. No, here Gengar can't KO us, which means, you know, that's an out they don't have access to. Um, and that, you know, that energy crush just gave us the KO. So if the Del Fox wasn't here, we would have just lost. Um, which is really, really cool. Now, granted, you could have said, yeah, but if you just play Zorak, then you have Cleaver. I okay, cool. Right, cool. But what if you prize it? Hmm? What if you don't dig and get it, get it quick enough? Hmm? I know, obviously, Zorak's got a lot more outs, I know. Because <laughs> you, you have the Appletons and stuff like that and the Flapples and stuff like that. So I know I'm playing, all right? Listen, I'm not here trying to say this is better than Zorak. Don't be daft. I just want to see how Brakeson does alone, and it does well. Which is nice. I mean, I'll just wait. But they can keep digging. I'm sorry, Debt. You're done. You're finished. The game has finito. No matter what you do, it's... It, the effort here is, is pointless, okay? Know when to admit defeat. Try and win, but know when you have been defeated. That is a... This is li life lessons today. For the win, life lessons for today is when you lose, you lose. <laughs> I don't know what I did. All right, there we go. Whoa, so down there back. I don't think it made a difference. But energy cost for the KO. We were able to beat Zorak. There we are. Lovely, lovely stuff. Let's go to the next game, eh? Now, before we get into the next game, let's talk about Trust App. Trust App is a payment platform that allows you to make safe transactions with strangers online. So if you're buying a Pokemon card from a stranger and you don't want to get scammed because you know there's some frauds out there, then Trust App will hold the funds for 24 hours to give you the time to check that you got exactly what you purchased. Click the link in the description for more details. But for now, now, let's get back into the game. Well, would you look at that for an opening hand? All we would have needed would have been a nice little battle VIP pass, but no. Um, I'm just going to start benching absolutely everything because we do have a Serena in hand, so we can draw next turn, so that's fine. But bro, <laughs> this hand's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So we are playing Arceus, so the Delphox might actually come into play here, which is why I wanted to play it in the deck. Why am I doing this? I feel like a politician. Did you know that? They do this because it's an inoffensive way. It's better than pointing. It's better than fists. It's supposed to be inoffensive. That's what I learned through Parliament uh, in the UK. I don't know if they do it in the US, but <laughs> if, it's, if, if you're in the UK and you're watching Parliament, uh, I know this is completely off topic, but watch, they will always do this hand signal. Uh, you know, go, Tish over here. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's how politicians sound to me. <laughs> Great Boris Johnson impression there, Sean. Anyway, that aside, I just don't know why I'm doing it. I'm naturally kind of doing it. I've been media trained. Ah! <laughs> Anyway, they are starting poorly, bro. That's good to see. Um, we're going to just Serena off the bat, I think. Uh, I don't really like getting rid of the rescue carry, but we play two, and I think we play two rod as well. We play a lot of recovery because we like to, so we're, we're going to. Um, right. Still no turbo or anything to attack with, which kind of sucks. Uh, we do have the rare candy. Now, that's just to get an immediate Delphox out if it's required, uh, but it's not a must, so I think we're going to get rid of that for now. See if we hit, we do. Now we're only doing, what is it, like 40 damage? But it's damage, and as I said, 
that's where Alakazam can come in in the late game and just cause some problems. Um, so, you know, if they retreat this Arceus anything down that line and there is damage counters down and we want to take the one at KO, we can Alakazam and KO. So, see, I just did it again, bro. Okay, I'm not going to pay attention to it. It's become my thing. I don't care now. <laughs> I'm over it. I can't promise you I'm over it. Let's get rid of that, which kind of sucks because I also got rid of the rescue carrier. But So, this is probably Duraladon looking at the dragon that Avery plays, uh, which is actually a big problem for us uh, because, obviously, they block the old... Um, Special energy. Um, but Path to the Peak can hopefully come into play there a little bit. And obviously, we know they counter it a lot. So we want to be careful with how we play our paths because. Oh, it's Gudra! Oh! I, funnily enough, that's a relief, which is weird. <laughs> Gudra, a relief? I know. Ain't that something strange, yeah? Um, so we could Del Fox. If they accelerate to this, that is a straight one at KO. Um, if I'm right, right? Because I'd be. Yeah, I think it's energy and not energy cards as well. So the double cut turbo does count for extra. So we're probably going to get the Del Fox out here. And uh, just take our straight KO from there. Um, we won't be able to survive a Gudra V-Star hit. So we have to be wary and just try and get some recovery going, man. Because, bro, it ain't looking good breath. <laughs> you know, I'm fine. It ain't looking good breath. Right, I'm going to put it to the ceiling. So I'm going to use the air balloon. Um, let's do that. I don't like the idea of having to discard this breaks him. But I kind of have to. That feels rough, bro. Oh, give me something to work with, please. Path's coming a bit too late, big man. It's coming a bit too late. But I'd like to have that the last turn so I can stop the star birth, but here we are. All right, let's go ahead and start using make do. Hopefully we can get into a better spot because we are in a tough position, bro. Like the, the amount we've had to like lose already is kind of bad. The Avery hit hard, bro. The Avery hit so hard. Please give me something. I'll take it. I'll take it. And we can even level ball for a... We've prized. Oh, that's not good. All right, well, we could take another turn at least, right? And we know they've got the Delphox, but that's just a straight 300, bro. That's mental. Bloody hell, mate. Look at that. Give me something. Mm. Oh. No, don't want to see it. I don't like seeing that, mate. I need something on the bench to help me. Bro, why so many times? And we had to prize one. Bro, they're coming after me today. They're coming after me. The Poke Gods. The Poke Gods. I want some water. Where's my water? I bought water. Where's my water? I need water. I don't have my water. Oh, no. All right. Well, it's what it is. I'll just let my throat die then, shall I? <laughs> right. So they're obviously going to promote this bad boy and just go from there. Um, and we might, obviously, we might actually have to take a turn of just letting a, uh, a Mancino go down. And let me just go ahead and try and find our tricky uh, recoverings. We do have one more rescue carrier. We do have some rods, as I said before. So we just got to get those bad boys out, you know. If, if you're going to promote something here, Chizamas. Hello, sir. Game player. Is that how you say this spell? I'm out of there to get it right. <laughs> oh, gosh. You have to say it properly. If I do, you dare. <laughs> you don't know what I'm on about, then you, you'd be absolutely clueless. But if you do, you know, you, you know the thing, brother. You know the thing. You know, be. Please play. I mean, I'm trying to play a game here. I'm trying to make a video. All right? Just, just do something. <laughs> I, I think they've, they, they probably just stepped away for some reason. They probably saw that 300 damage and went, no. Nope. Bye bye. <laughs> just left. Um, which kind of sucks. I, I'm, li I'm limited time again to record a video, but if it, uh, I have to record it later. I have to record it later. But I'd rather do it now. So can you please? No, here we go. This is just, it's just past town. And now I just feel bad because I get a free turn that I shouldn't have really got. And now you make me feel horrible because I. I, I <laughs> you know. On, on any other day, right? Any other day, we can get rid of this stuff. Any other day, it'd be like, right, yeah, it's great dub, bro. That's sick. We could just go ahead and just, you know, get get just get rid of it. That's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's okay. There's our rescue carrier. That's what I'm talking about. We still need to get Breakson's back. But it's fine. It's all good in the hood, bro. We'll just get these bad boys benched. And I'll Serena away. Probably these two, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. We can naturally draw into the other breaks and if it is in deck. And it gives us... How much damage output are we doing now? I think we're doing two, uh, 180. Where are you? 
Hello, my Serena. Oh, there. <laughs> We're hitting 180 and 150 with the energy crush. So the flare parade is actually the stronger attack. So I'll take that any day of the week. That's fine by me. And now I just feel bad because they're not playing the game. Bro! If this is live, it wouldn't happen. Yeah, look at me talking good about live. Well, actually, no, if you want to know my, my, my true opinions, I have uh, an article coming out on the Shuffle Squad, I think. I don't know yet if it's been fully approved or not, whatever, but it's, it seems like it should be should be out. Of my thoughts on PDCGL currently and its future. There's the scoop. Okay, lovely. Great stuff. <laughs> right, this has a good bit of But yeah, shit, you're a all right. <laughs> Here's me sitting there criticizing it, and I'm just going to get bodied, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. The hand's tough as well, man. The hand is bad. Now, finally, lead can actually search for a support card, which is good. So we can lead if we are in a dire situation, but that we have to be in a pretty bad spot to lead. Battle VIP would be lovely. Oh! Yes, baby! Let's go! Battle VIP down and ready. That's what I like to say. Yeah, man. Now, the board isn't amazing still, but we get another Fennekin down. We can even go for a lead here and just guarantee ourselves a Serena, which is gonna be fine. At least we get, we have an out to a supporter card next turn, which is good. Um, that's lovely. And we'll just go for, obviously go for that. Uh, I was gonna say go for the pass, but no, we just use the attack and it's done. Funnily enough, they attach to the, the Simchina, so they're playing fighting energy, which is curious. Why? Usually it plays, I guess, Duraladon? I mean, Duraladon is about, bro. Duraladon is here. People are playing it. I still don't think it's an incredible deck, but it's just like people, it's just people answering Lugia. They're just like, oh, Lugia, Arceus Dragon Lord. Um, that's just what people's, that's people's going in people's headspace, right? But, um, but then you're kind of just playing a deck directly to counter one deck, which you've got to remember that Tina's still about, you've got to remember that um, Palki is still about, and they're decks that aren't going to go away, right? I think Lugia's great, and I think it's uh, a contender for Bediff, but it's not going to just make the other ones disappear, I don't think. Um, at least from what I can see, right? We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Because Palkia is a bit slower. Um, can have some bad turn ones. But so can Lugia. Lugia's not slower, but it can have bad turn ones. Really bad turn ones. At least from what I can tell. You know? I mean, from what we know now, right? Maybe Lugia goes down the line of just needing the one Archeops and a discard power and a, and a get a bit barrel. So that way you can keep accelerating energy. Not to an incredibly fast degree, but a degree that keeps consistent. Um, Lugia still needs more time to be explored. You know, we got to bear that in mind. Anyway, that's the Serena. Uh, yes, we bench you. Um, we've actually survived the turn, which is absolutely massive. So I think I'm going to make do first an Ultra Ball. And then see where we go from there. Double Serena. Oh, yeah, we're talking, baby. We're talking. Oh, oh, oh yes. All right, that is good. Let's get a breaks it out. And we're just going to Serena. I know it's a turb discarding an energy, but it's fine. Let's go Serena there and see if we get extra lucky. Another another Sinchino. I keep saying Sinchino, Sinchino. You know, you know what I mean. No, all right, that's fine. Get rid of the VIP. Or do I get rid of the VIP or do I save that for the Ultra Ball next turn? I, I might want to save that for Ultra Ball. So let's Flare Parade for 100. Unfortunately, the turbo doesn't get us there. <laughs> Pardon me, which kind of sucks. Um, but nonetheless... Mm, that does kind of suck, especially considering they have Slowbro and stuff. We've got to bet that in mind too, right? They kind of want to get to that two prize area before. Don Fan. Now, I think the ruling here is Overspin does work because you're not evolving into the Don Fan, right? But if you're playing Zorak Don Fan, aren't you better off just playing Zorak and just putting a Don Fan in? Wait, does this, if this Pokemon evolve during this turn, I think the ruling is that this does work when Azorak brings it out, right? Am I wrong? I looked at myself there. <laughs> I think that's the ruling. They've got the, a sooner of their own. And they're going to get rid of a Turbo. Okay. So they might not have the energy they need to use Domfan just yet. Um, hey, I like this, using Domfan, but... I think that's <laughs> it's just fun, isn't it? But the turbo it kind of implies that there's there's more to this. And they're just playing fighting for the sake of being able to use Don Fan, I guess. Uh, regardless, that's down. I'm gonna ultra ball now. This is what I wanted to do initially. So I did want Amani and just get 
Um, I kind of like the idea of getting Delphox out. Because it means we can actually tank some extra hits, and that's going to be massive for the prize trade. So I think that's that's a good chat. I think that's a good move there. Oh, well, no shame showing myself. And that's another Serena gone. Now, Serena's are actually useless here, apart from just being able to draw. Um, and because we have, like, Marnies and Sinchinos and stuff like that, you know, and we can't gust because there's no Vs. So just throwing with this card pile isn't that big a deal. Um... Right, I think we only really need three, though, because I don't think we're going to be having trouble KOing anything else um, when we're hitting, like, 160 with the turbo, right? Um, you know, yeah, we'll get we'll get another another Sinchino back, because I've got Rescue Carrier, so I can just recover. I can just recover and go from there. That's fine. And I think I just use Flare Parade. Not Energy Crush, Shawnee Boy, that's not the one. There we go, for 160. And I think we're far ahead enough now that we should see a nice steady path to victory. That looks lovely. So this is what I mean. Zorak just does Zorak things, and this is this is it, right? You have to kind of really dig to find the card, exactly the card you want. Um, and even though on paper it looks amazing, the deck can just do this, right? A lot of the time, um, which is very interesting to see, right? Because you shouldn't expect it to, but it does. And also, Zorak just has a bad matchup against Lost Box, right? I think that's a terrible. Well, to be fair, we do too, right? If you're playing a Sinchino engine, Lost Box is going to give you a bad time. <laughs> yeah, they're going to cause some problems there, mate. But what's good, I guess now, at least for the time being, I'm appreciating it. I'm appreciating it now. Lost Box, I'm not seeing anywhere. I'm not seeing any Lost Box on the ladder. Like I'm seeing it once in a blue moon because people are just excited to play the new decks. People are just trying out Lugia, um, and people are just kind of forgetting about Lost Box on the ladder. That saying, Lost Box, I think, may actually be best deck in format. If you was to, if I was to sit there and go, right, if you're just really going to put a gun to my head and say, what's best deck in format, I would actually say Lost Box. I think. Oh, That or Reggie's. That or Reggie's, if I'm just going to be wholeheartedly honest. Um, because it just, yeah, I, I, I think that, I think, if I had a gun to my head, I'd say that. Anyway, uh, there's a boss, but honestly, I think we want to KO this Zorak, so that's fine. Uh, the Marnie, I don't think... Well, they didn't get what they got this turn, so they have to Sinchino their way to find it. Um, or they have it, and they just need to Sinchino next turn. I don't think I need to do too much here. Um, I don't want to discard... I can just... I can discard this. We're fine. Yeah, she, what we're talking about. <laughs> I'm not playing Zoro, actually. Um, we can get rid of that as well. That's all right. We'll be careful of deck. Deck out. I don't want to dip me chef out now. There we go. That's good. And I think we just hold here. Uh, the bosses could be really good, right, if things get tricky. Uh, I, maybe I boss the Sinchino? Maybe I do that. Let's test something here. Let's boss this Sinchino and just KO it. And maybe just try and limit their draw. Let them have their Zoroks, right? But just get rid of their draw engine. Or try and minimize it, right? So that they, they're less likely to see the cards they want to get out. They're less likely to dig for those energy that they need. Uh, a big thing with Zorak, right, is you have to have the Pokemon out before you attach. You can't attach preemptively and then use Zorak because it gets rid of that energy, right? Look at me. I'm a professor now that I've got this in my ear. <laughs> I'm smart. Now. Where's my glasses? <laughs> I'll put my glasses on. I am now officially intelligent. Oh, no. My pen fell off my ear. That's not smart. I'm officially intelligent, so you have to hear what I say. I've got so many smudges on my glasses. If we get rid of the Sincino, then we win. There we go. The genius said it. I have to believe it, right? <laughs> anyway, nonsense aside, they have another one out. There's Slowbro. Ugh. Don't like that. Don't like that. But I'm going to just keep trying to get rid of these. It's an experiment. I don't know if it's the play. I'm experimenting because I haven't really played against Zorak enough to be confident. Oh, that's not good. What can they use right now that's good? They can use Thick Mucus, which is for each special... <clears throat> Pardon me. That would get... Funny enough, won't get... <laughs> Actually, wait. Did they just whiff? Oh, my God. Bro, why are you playing Zorak when you could be playing this? Clearly, it is better. I played one game. So clearly every other game in the future, I'm just going to win, right? Clearly it's just a better deck. 
<laughs> right, so here we are with the decorating system for today. So we have a damage potential of eight in this deck, being able to go up to 240, 270, and up to the, uh, I guess you could go to like 290s and 310s with the Alakazam moving things around. Even though we didn't really get to truly see it today, unfortunately, it's definitely an option. Um, but, you know, those are very, very techie situations where you kind of have to play to get that kind of in, into that kind of position. Uh, so it's not just as simple as that, but uh, the damage potential is going to be an eight as a result, right? Potential one hit KOs, um, but if not, guaranteed two hit KO. So I think that's definitely uh, a perfect spot to put it on eight. Uh, time to damage potential, of course, you need to get Serena's out. She needs to get them in the discard pile. Uh, you have to meet that condition, which can take a bit of time um, in order to get the max damage output. Um, but you know, you can get there sometimes. Regardless, the time to damage potential is a six because it's good. It's not the best, uh, but it's decent. Uh, and I think the, you know, the single energy attachment also plays a role there. And then you have damage maintenance, which is 10, obviously. If you have the Serenas in the discard pile, it's not going to go down, right? You, it's only going to go up when you get more in there. So, of course, you can ma only maintain damage consistently every single time, unless they actually find a way to put the support supports back into your deck, which I don't think there's a way to do that in the format. If there is, I don't know. I've never seen it. <laughs> um, and so, it's not only going to maintain, but it's going to go higher when you get to that max threshold. And until then, it's just going to constantly maintain. So damage maintenance is a straight 10, which is what's really good for the deck. Uh, search potential is an 8. Sinchino engine is really good. Minchino, Sinchino. I don't know which one it is. Sinchino. Yeah. <laughs> Sinchino engine is very, very good. Very solid, but it is weak to Lost Box. But that goes more into the counter ability side of things. Um, and it's good, right? You can dig your deck and do a lot of things. It's no, no Inteleon engine. Um, but for now, an 8 is pretty solid. Also, to quickly note, by the way, for this deck creating system in the future, uh, when Inteleon rotates, the system is basically taking into account the format, not all of them. So as soon as Inteleon rotates, right, the best engine in that m format would then go up to an 8, right? So let's say, let's say Sinchino becomes the best engine, just for hypothetical. I'm not saying it will. I think the barrel might be the best one. But, you know, let's say it does, then it will go from an 8 here to a 10 because it is the best engine, right? So it, it can change uh, depending on the format. So it is format specific. I just wanted to clarify that, right? Um, but yeah, so that's there for the search potential. Counter ability being a 6, the single prize matchup comes into this counter ability section. Um, and, you know, I know there's HP and prizes, but I don't think it really accounts for the fact that, you know, even though we are low HP, we still are one prize uh, and we're still hitting big numbers, which is the counter ability factor there. Um, uh, so I, I put that in there, taken that into account. Uh, the fact that we can kind of one it KO things that kind of goes into there as well. Um, the fact that we have like Manaphy in there to prevent you know bench damage and stuff like that from Raikou's in Lugia decks is a big part too. Um, but our weakness to Lost Box is definitely going to knock it down a few points because that's kind of dangerous considering how good Lost Box is. Um, but you know. If you were going to play Zorak, which is, I guess, a deck you can kind of compare to it, then it's the same thing at the end of the day. And um, the HP prize is going to be a five. Uh, you know, 90 isn't that great, but one price is good. And also being able to evolve into the Delphox for 150 is also pretty solid. So it's just going to be an average five. So never rating of 43. Um, I think it feels better than that, if I'm honest with you, than its rating. Um, you know, I think, I do think it feels a little bit better, but I still think that's a pretty fair rating if i'm going to be honest at the end of the day right so yeah we're going to go and leave it there uh, do leave a like if you did enjoy please do subscribe for more but most importantly take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next one when we cover a a, a deck peace Poke X Word is a Pokemon puzzle website where you can complete Pokemon crosswords and the newly launched Guess That Pokemon. If you want to have some more fun on your downtime and improve your Pokemon knowledge, then click the link in the description down below to check it out. Thanks again for them sponsoring the channel and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.